Hello everyone, are you ready for that adventure? It's me, Woken, I'm here with a Dragalia Lost video that I totally was not expecting to make because they've decided to drop the craziest thing ever. <laughs> so that's gonna be today's video. I'm gonna talk about the new adventure that's coming in the Galadragalia remix. It's not a Galadragalia. <laughs> it's... all this is weird. Um, that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, as always, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go. So, um... I immediately went to go check the news and I saw that a Gala Dragalia- I just saw Gala Dragalia and then I saw that they were adding Ayaha and Otaha? Ohaya and Otaha? I don't know how to say these names. Ayaha? Otahia? I play with sound off if you're wondering, so I don't ever hear their names. Uh, I'm gonna call them A and O. So yeah, A and O, they are the Agido. They're bosses. And I actually thought that they were a Gala Jigalia, much like Volk when he came out. No, this is a Gala remix. The Gala, the Gala unit that's on this banner is Gala Leo. And I think yeah, Gala Reborn Agni. Those are the two units that are actually on this banner. These are not, these are, I'm going to repeat this. They are added adventurers. The newly added five adventurer, Ayaha and Toya Flame Staff will be in other summon showcases. Okay. <laughs> so, Volk's dragon form is considered a gala, sure. The adventure themselves, not gala worthy, I guess. I don't know, man. This is so weird. It's actually kind of exciting to be just so weirded out. The one thing I don't like about this banner is also check this. The following limited adventures and dragons will make their return in the Gala Dragalia remix, but are not featured. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you bringing back Dragon Eagle units and then not making the feature? Stop doing this. It's so bad when they do this. I hate it when they do it, but whatever. It just means you're not going to be able to get them. And Dragon Eagle Gene, which is, of course, the only Dragon Eagle dragon that is limited. Um, so, yeah, let's see what they do. They are an attack unit, and they are also a staff unit, which is pretty funny. Uh, so they are a healer, but twin sisters who were once part of the Agido, Ayaha with black hair, and Otaha, white, and though both are innocent and cruel, they believe they're <laughs> innocent and cruel. They believe their brand of freedom is the only correct one. They have been acting on their own accord since Agido's end. Nab Nab Sokonuki, Sokonuk, Suck My Nuck, Sokonuke. Let's go with that. This is our first skill. Deals damage to the target and nearby enemies partially fills the dragon gauge if the attack connects. Remove all afflictions from the entire t Whoa! And swap the user from Oha to a Toha, or vice versa. If the skill is used directly after Onigoku or Kageme Kagome, it will also immediately ready Onigoku and Kagome Kagome for use. If this skill is used while shapeshift, a variant called Hana Ichi Moname will be used instead. Hana Ichi Moname deals damage to the target and nearby enemies, draws them together, inflicts stun, burn, and scorched, and restores HP relative to the- What? Relative to the HP related to the amount of damage dealt, Hana Ichi Moname also grants the entire team a team strength amp. The purple Hanagorame effect increases their max HP. Damage 81 over 14 hits. Skill energy required is 8,364. The dragon energy gained is 40. Uh, affliction recovery, all, reflection, all afflictions. When shapeshift, um, the damage is 398 over 7 hits. Special fix is HP 15%. Purple Hogorome does not stack. HP regen triggers every 2.9 seconds. Potency 2% of max HP. Stun Punisher 10%. Burning Punisher 5%. Scorch Punisher 5%. 5%. Stun lasts 7 seconds, burn lasts 12 seconds, Corrin lasts 21 seconds. Team and, uh, ma uh, team Strength Amp, max level 1, HP Drain, recovers 10% of HP. Uh, recovers 10% of damage dealt, recovers up to 10% of target unit to max HP, target entire team. That's her skill 1. Her skill 2, which is shareable, is Onagoki and Kogeme Kogeme. This skill is used as... <laughs> 
This uses a Heiha, the Onigoku variant will be used. Onigoku deals damage to the target and nearby enemies, inflicts stun, restores HP to all enemies, and grants them the blue Hogorome effect. If the skill is used by Otoha, the Kogome Kogome variant will be used. Kogome Kogome deals damage to mark multiple targets and enemies near those targets, inflicts burn and score inch, restores HP to all teammates, and grants them over damage. <laughs> Grants them over damage, and the red Hugura may affect the skill attack. Will be only if the skills attack will only affect each target once per use. Azayaha damage at 1,395 over one hits. Recover potency 60. Skill energy required is 4,132. It is 16,000 when it is a shared skill. Special effects stun blue Hugura may last 30 seconds. Sacks up to three times. Wind resistance plus 4 HP regen triggers every 2.9 seconds. A potency 18. As a Toha, the damage is 1048 over 1 hit. Skill energy is the same. Recover potency is 60. <sighs> Special effects are red Hogorome affliction. The sex rate 50%. Last 30 seconds. Stacks up to 3 times. Over damage. Last 30 seconds. Potency 40% of strength. Does not stack. Burn. Last 12 seconds. Scorch. Last tw uh, 21 seconds. Co-op ability, dragon damage 20% up, okay. Chain co-op ability, combo equal buff skill time 15%. Okay. Their abilities. The user begins quest as Aha, but can switch to Otaha and vice versa when using Nabe Nabe Sukunoke. Aha and Otaha share all the same stats, but their standard attacks, four strikes and dash attacks and second skills differ. Um, four strike effects. Aha uh -huh, deals damage to enemies in a line and reduces their strength by 5% for 20 seconds. The strength reduction will not stack. Otaha uh -huh, deals damage to surrounding enemies. When shape shifting, the user will transform into Beast Aya uh -huh, and Otaha uh -huh, regardless of what dragon they are equipped with and activate the following effects when shape shift. The user shape shift time is extended by 25%. The user standard attack lowers the enemy burn or scorch resistance by 20% for 30 seconds. Both of these resistance reduction effects can be applied simultaneously, but neither of them will stack. The user is granted a Dragon Strike and it deals damage to surrounding enemies and inflicts Stun and Scorched. In addition, this user's Dragon Skill level will match the level of the Adventure's initial skill displayed at the top of their skill list. <sighs> Using Nabi Nabi Sokinoke reduces susceptibility to afflictions by 20%. For the remainder of the quest, the reduction can stack up to 5 times. Hmm. Also using Nabi Nabi Sukunoke, Okinoke, Eogoi, <laughs> or Kogomi Kogine <laughs> will grant the user a strength amp of a maximum team level of 1 after this amp is granted his ability while granted again for 8 seconds. Sure. The Sonobe Tarjasane reduces damage taken by 10% when not inflicted by afflictions. Also grants the user a stack of playtime effect for every 9 seconds of the pass in which the user is not afflicted with any afflictions. During playtime, the user's strength is increased by 5%, the potency of recovery skills by 10%. The buff can stack up to 3 times, all stacks will be lost upon affliction. Inflicted would have been an affliction. Hmm. It seems like they're gonna be pretty easy to get inflicted over time because using Nabi Nabi reduces their susceptibility to afflictions by 20%. And by the end of it, it's gonna be 100% chance of them being completely destroyed. Oh, and regarding their shared skill, the adventure shared skill is Onagoke variant. That is used while Ayaha is active. Okay. So you do not get the other one, which is the Otoa, which was, sounds like the better of the two. I think it sounds like the better of the two. Yeah, this one gives the, um. The over damage, which over damage is very good. These units, so the number one, <laughs> this unit, the number one thing is that they share a uh, class with Halloween Lowen. Um, this has always been a big problem with fire, is that Halloween Lowen, I don't know if it's a problem if your best unit has been good since he released back in Halloween too. But for the longest time, if they've tried to release a new one of the variant of this unit, they have to do something that Halloween Lowen doesn't do. What Halloween Lowen does do is that he increases the defense by a whole buttload. It makes it very easy to heal and he's in general usually the best healer. Now, over time, and with some mana spirals, there is at least an alternative where, um, I cannot believe I'm remembering her name right now, but the Yukata, she's, okay. Let me look it up. It was, it was Cassandra. Um, so yeah, Yukata and Cassandra, she gives something that Halloween Lowen can't do, which is kind of buff. Uh, he gives something that he didn't have at the time, which is over damage. 
and she's able to do that and do something different that benefits the entire team. Of course, that uh, that same skill can also be used as a shared skill, so many people just kind of take her shared skill and use it with Halloween Loan, um, and that works out too. What they're doing here, though, is something so completely different from them. I don't know. I don't know if it means, like, obviously on AI, I think Halloween Loan would be better, because there's no way in hell that the AI know how to play this unit. This unit seems complicated as hell. Even I don't know how to use I was, I was halfway confused reading what some of her, what some of the things they do here. The reason is, is that it seems like you kind of want to always be swapping between the two units, and that's an easy way to break the AI. <laughs> so the AI will be faced with too much choice and just not know how to use the unit effectively, or maybe the AI is so good that they're the only ones that know how to use the unit effectively. Who knows? Um, but if I were to take a guess here, I would assume Halloween Low One would still be better in terms of being used in auto, but if you're doing direct control, these two sound pretty damn good. Or at least I think they do. And they're also doing something completely different, which is funny because they're attack based, so they're actually one of the units that can also use the attack, uh, CE, not CE, uh, worm print, um, that Tregalia has. Not many, not many of the, of this type of one can use it. Um, but they're one of them now. So yeah, I think they're very interesting. And I could see the potential in them being very good. The one thing that's kind of... The other reason I don't think they would be very good on AI is that they don't really have... Um, they don't start with a base level immunity to afflictions, it looks like. So that means that they would be very easy to get afflictions on. So... Oh no, that's definitely something that could easily screw things over. It's going to depend on a lot of things. The thing that kind of goes in their benefit is they did they have the ability to remove afflictions, which is good. Um, if they didn't have that ability, I think they would kind of be <laughs> DOA, but because they actually have the ability to pretty easily get rid of those afflictions, it's not as bad. Um, there would probably still be fights where they just, just like completely get stomped or something, but who knows. Um, yeah, that's them. Totally unexpected. And again, they are not a Gala Dragalia. This is coming from a Gala remix. So they are going to be eventually on the ticket that you can just kind of pick up. So that's kind of why, even though I kind of want them to test them out, to test them out and do all that kind of fun stuff with them, uh, we're too close to the end of the year. And, uh, <laughs> and there's a lot of more limited units to go. So I'm just going to have to skip them. But let me tell you, if you summon for them, tell, I, I would gladly, I would love to hear how they are, because they seem really good to me. Really good, but hey, what do I know? But that's my opinion, and that's the end of the video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, you can leave a like and comment. It helps a whole bunch. Subscribe to me to see other videos featuring me, Wookie. That's me. And now, it's time for me to end the video. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. Have a good day, and have a good night. Bye-bye.